This is 91.7 WCUC, The Clutch. Good evening, everybody. I'm Becca Burcott, and welcome to this special show on CUTV called Know Your Camera, where the best of the best kick off, compete against each other to see who really does know more. Tonight, we have our station manager, Rick McClelland, who will be facing off. Okay, do you have something to say? I do. Go ahead. Carl, did you press record? Oh, that's yeah. all I wanted to say. <laughs> I forgot to ask. Go, oh, that's it. Okay, so he's ready. And he will be facing off against the challenger, Frank Lemon, the creative yeah. services director here. Are you ready, Frank? Yes. He's going to win. Yes, I am. We will see shortly who knows more about their camera. So here's how it works. I'm going to ask questions, obviously. And each question is worth five points. You do not lose points if you get it wrong. Oh, awesome. So you oh, must, hey, okay. but you must. <laughs> But you only get one guess. And you must wait until I completely finish reading the question and so all, the answers, multiple choice. all the answers. It is multiple too. choice. It is okay? multiple choice? It is multiple choice. We had to, did you listen? We had to listen, wait till the you end have to of the question. I understand. I understand. If you ding in before I finish, then you're disqualified. You don't get to answer at all. Okay? Oh, man. I'm and there is guy. a bonus question at the end of the entire show that is worth 10 points. So oh. be on the edge of your seat for that one. Are you guys ready? Go. Okay. The first question, there's no graphics for this one. Which of these films was not shot on a red camera? A, Flight, B, District 9, C, Snow White and the Huntsman, or D, Black Swan? Frank. Flight. Eh, yeah. Wrong. Yes. What are the other three? Uh, District 9, Black Swan, and? Snow White and the Huntsman. Snow White and the Huntsman. Wrong. It's Black Swan. It was Black Swan, correct. So no points were distributed for that wrong. Round. Because <laughs> they're both wrong. I knew. Okay. Question two. What is the maximum number of frames per second the Red Epic can capture at full resolution? A, 100. B, 120. C, 150. Or D, 200. Yes, Rick. Pretty sure it's 120. That is correct. Five points goes to Rick. He's pulling out a strong lead. Okay, question three. <laughs> question. <laughs> what is the pixel array of the red scarlet? Is it A, 5100 by 2510, B, 5280 by 2720, C, 5120 by 2700, or D, 5700 by 2120? Yes. Is right. it C? It is C. That's Very five. good job. Five points. It is a tied <sighs> game right now. Question number four, what is the dynamic range of the red one? A, 10 plus stops, B, 13 plus stops, C, 17 plus stops, or D, 20 plus stops? Yes, Rick. 13. Correct. Five points goes to Rick. Oh, the epic is 17 plus. Oh. This is getting intense. <coughs> this is getting intense. Okay. Which of these I of the red, wait, okay. Which is the heaviest of the reds, body only? Oh God. A, the red one, <laughs> B, the red epic, or C, the red scarlet? Uh, yes. The one. That is correct. Very good job. The original. Five points goes to heavy. Frank. Stone. All right, this is the last question in this category and for this block. So after this, we're going to commercial break. Which of these was not shot with a red camera? A, E, R. B, Covert Affairs, C, The Mob Doctor, or D, Dexter? Yes, A, E, R. Eh, wrong. <laughs> yes. I haven't heard of two of them. I'm going to go with C. Wrong also. It was That's D, the one. Dexter. Yeah. Was it really? What so, is on? What? I don't Brit actually know. I didn't write that question. Britt did. Shout out to Britt C. Hall, who couldn't be here tonight. I'm but pretty sure that one's on the 5D Mark III. Could have been. <coughs> Which, that's a, is that HBO? That will be our questions for the next block. No, Dexter's block. Showtime. Showtime likes that. What's the questions for the next block? It will be all about the Canon 5D Mark III. Oh, so okay. stay tuned. You're watching Know Your Camera. It's a tight score at 10-10 right now. Don't go anywhere.
Bugs, NFL quarterback for the New Orleans Saints, here with Bugs Bunny to remind you to get moving every day. Because when you get moving an hour a day, you fuel your body and your mind. So what do you like to throw around the football like Drew? Skateboard, ride a bike, or dance in your room. Just move it your way. And be a player. Get up and play an hour a day, Doc. Check out how to be a player at letsmove.gov. Head online to get tips on great ways to get moving every day. At letsmove.gov. A message from the Ad Council and HHS. Together, we can build. Together, we can imagine. Together, we can dazzle. At Clarion University, our nationally recognized academic programs in business, education, science, and the arts will prepare you for a truly successful future. For more information, call 800-672-7171 or apply online at www.clarion.edu. Together, we can at Clarion University. Why can't we listen to WCUC? It's too clutch. My bones can't handle it. But I love the clutch. It's so nice. The turkey sandwiches are nice, but I'd never get those. I'm sorry. Can't we just listen to the radio? My input means nothing. Tune in to WCUC 91.7, the clutch. And... Welcome back to Know Your Camera. It's a very intense game right now. Tied score at 10-10 with Rick and Frank, the know-it-all. There Behind is. the scenes, there's, brains. There's nothing like a little subtle CUTV. mockery, Frank. There's nothing quite like it. Well, you know what? You just, the two best of the best, we have to see who really <laughs> is the best. Right, right. I guess we'll have to. This will determine everything. It, things will change from here on out mm. at the station. So, as I said, the last block was all about the red camera, and this block is all about the Canon 5D Mark III. Woo. So, brace yourselves, right. buckle up, here we go. What is the standard aspect ratio of the Canon 5D Mark III? Is it, that is not oh, the right question. Geez. Is it A, oh. 1.5 well, to 1, coming up. B, 2 to 1, <laughs> C, 3 to 2, or D, 3.5 to 2? I completely forgot I was reading the question. Oh, that's, that's not it either. That's, that's, that's still the it. same one. That's, okay, that's, that's a nice question. try, guys, upstairs. What is the standard aspect ratio of the Canon yeah, 5D Mark III? 1.5 to 1. That's still not it. That's not it. Stop putting that up. 2 to 1. Britain and stuff. 3 to 2. Or 3.5 to 2. Yes, Rick. Two, 3 to 2. Correct. Five more points goes to Rick and Clint. <sighs> Lucky guesses. Pulling ahead. Pulling ahead. Okay. Next question, prepare that graphic upstairs because it's coming. What is the extended ISO range of the Canon 5D Mark III? A, 100 to 25600, B, 120 to 26500, C, 150 to 25000, or D, 200 to 27500? Today? It is A, correct. I thought. Look at you guys, <coughs> it's tied. We can't have a tie game, we'll have to do some kind of tiebreaker. Tiebreakers, right now. Paper, scissors. We will. Okay. All right. Third question in this block. How many megapixels is the full-frame CMOS sensor of the Canon 5D Mark III? A, 21.1. B, 23.1. C, 24.2. Or D, 22.3. Frank. 22.3. That is correct. Five more points goes to Frank Lemon. He is pulling ahead here at 20 points while Rick is only at Okay. What is the image format for the Canon 5D Mark III? A, 24 millimeter. B, 35 millimeter. C, 50 millimeter. Or D, 75 millimeter. Frank. 35. That is correct. Full frame. Boom. Oh my gosh. You're biased. You I heard myself before I heard you. You're closer to yourself. I also. Shit, we got. He said that. That's bias. Oh. My okay. friend, my my friend is bias. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you do with them. All right. All right. <laughs> well, we'll leave that for another day. Okay, last question of this block. Which is true of an EOS 5D Mark III? A, it does not shoot in HD. B, the resolution is up to five gigabytes per claim, per clip. <laughs> C, new shutter with 140,000 cycles. Or D, it has 21.1 megapixel full frame CMOS sensor. Quick. The D, D. Yes, very good. 
we answered that in a previous question. Very good. Contact I thought that was going to be a trick. Like. <laughs> <laughs> well, me and Brittany didn't coordinate too well <laughs> our questions. Okay, so that wraps up the Canon 5D Mark III question. So we're going to send it to another commercial break, and when we come back, we will have a potpourri category of free-for-all questions. So stay tuned, brace yourself, see you soon. What's the name of the monsters in <laughs> Our Real Monsters? My name is Sue Smith. I'm 38 years old, and I work at a graphic design company, which is funny, because I couldn't even draw a stick figure when I was a kid. But I met someone who told me, you know what? You can do anything if you really want to. And if the teenage me were here, she'd tell you, I wouldn't be into drawing and art if it wasn't for big brothers, big sisters. Most kids from my neighborhood don't get into art. They get into trouble. But I was lucky, because my big sister showed me early on that I didn't have to be like most people. And to the young me, that meant a lot. My big sister's name is Sheila, and Sheila is the reason that this eight-year-old grows up to have an amazing job as a graphic designer. Whether you donate money or time, you're helping Big Brothers Big Sisters help a child, and that can last a lifetime. Start something today at BigBrothersBigSisters.org. Brought to you by Big Brothers Big Sisters and the Ad Council. At Clarion University, our nationally recognized academic programs in business, education, science, and the arts will prepare you for a truly successful future. The personal attention from our achievement-oriented faculty will help you grow, learn, explore, and discover in a small, safe, supportive environment. For more information, call 800-672-7171 or apply online at www.clarion.edu. Clarion University. Expectation and support of personal achievement. WCUC FM. And welcome back to Know Your Camera. We have Rick behind by five points right now. Frank's at 25, Rick's at 20. But I don't know, things can always change as we were discussing during the commercial. Oh, there are no lifelines. It's man against man. Okay. So, this is the free-for-all category, so who knows, we'll be asking about anything. So, first question of this block. This is the failure of the lens to focus all colors to the same convergence point. A, lens dispersion. B, lens distortion. C, chromatic aberration. D, chromatic refraction. Frank. C. Correct. Faster. That's my only downfall. I was not biased. <coughs> yeah, I know. Okay. Frank flying further and further ahead. Next question. How much does an EOS 1DX body only cost? I knew you were going to have one of these in here. A, that is not the right choices that I have here. Anyway, A, $6,799. B, $6,300. C, $5,970. Or D, $5,999. $6,000. Okay. $6,799. That is correct. Frank pulling yes. further. I knew the 1DX was expensive. People on the TV station look to your new master. <laughs> <laughs> Did they ever we doubt me? There may be a, an uprising. <laughs> here. I don't think uh -huh. we're out of prod ops director, is what I think. Oh my. <laughs> going going yeah. for the gut here. All right, next question. You can always pull ahead. We got that bonus question at He's the quicker. End That's up. the only thing. That's my downfall. He's quicker on the buzz. Well, you got to get, get your hands I'm going here. What is a difference between the Canon EOS Rebel T4i and T3i? A, the T4i has a higher meg megapixel CMOS sensor. B, the T3i does not shoot in HD. C, the T3i does not have a touchscreen. D, the T4i lacks auto focus. Rick. T3i lacks a touchscreen. That is correct. Five more points to Rick. Now you're just trailing by, I think, 10. 10. Yeah, 10. Yep. That's okay, you can always come back. I'm sure I can. You can. There's some easy ones coming at you. Not that you are struggling, but still, because you guys are now all bow down. Stab. What does HDR mean? A, hard dynamic range. B, high dynamic range. C, high def range. Or D, high def reference. Rick. High dynamic range. Correct, five more points to Rick. Trailing by five. Feel the tension. <laughs> Which of these does DOF stand for? A, digital official focus. B, distance of focus. C, down on focus. Or D, degree of focus. 
You're missing the answer. Really? Well, I didn't write this yeah. question. Do we want to tag team it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, no points on this one. It stands for depth of field. Yeah, that's depth of field. <laughs> um, Blame girl but I was going to say, Maybe distance, distance is it of distance focus? of focus? Is that no, good? she has degree ones. of focus. Degree is depth of field. Oh my, Who talks weird. about degree of focus and goes to DOF? Pretty see how when you watch this, you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's see. Next question. I'm sorry about that one. <laughs> Should have had more control. OK, anyway. Which of these is not part of a tripod? A, 360 bubble level. B, column crank gear. C, head. Or D, pole? Frank. D, pole. That is correct. Five more points goes to Frank. Ahead by 10, I believe. Yes. And 10. Yeah. So we have a couple left. We have two more left. Oh, okay. This you can come it. back. This is your moment to shine. Come on, <coughs> station manager. Show us why we hired you. Which company had the first DSLR to have the live preview feature? A, Canon, spelled wrong in the graphic. B, Nikon. C, Sony. Or D, Olympus. Frank. A, Canon? Wrong. Mm, OK. All right, great. That was going to be my guess. guess. Um, I'm going to call it Nikon. That is also wrong. Mm. It was Olympus. So, oh, it was Olymp. Oh, yeah, you know what? Right from the back. I remember way back whenever they were touting that. That was probably like I remember when they touted it way too. early 2000s. Touting. I don't pay yeah. attention to Olympus. No, nobody does because it's not a real camera company. It's not a real camera company. Subtle mockery. Never. I mean, if you, right if you dig in a half second late, I mean, it's always going to be my quote that was right. What? What? Nothing. OK, last question of the block, so prepare yourself. Highbrow. What order? were the first digital cameras unveiled in? Kodak, Sony, Nikon, Kodak, Nikon, Sony, Nikon, Sony, Kodak, or Nikon, Kodak, Sony? Rick. C. Uh, no. Mm. Well, then. I figured Kodak was did last for guess? sure. I did. Yeah. I was Kodak, Kodak would was. not be last, because think about when the first digital cameras came out. Kodak might have been first. This might be true. Uh, let's go with A. A is correct, Frank. Yes. Pulling even further. Nikon was a film camera company. Sony's technology and Nikon was cameras. I was thinking Kodak's still a film company. They're still a film company, but they, they were early adopters. That's why they're out of business now. Yes, that is why. OK, so that wraps up the questions for this block. Now, the next block, we have a problem question, and it's worth 10 points. So right now, I think Frank's ahead. I'm ahead 15. Than, yeah, more than that. So, Doesn't matter. Stay tuned. It'll yeah, be great. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Know your camera. Let's go, Caleb! Come on, hit a homer, Jesse. Let's go, guys. Hey, did you guys know that kids who play sports earn more money when they grow up? <laughs> of course. I, I knew that. Hey, did you guys know that kids who read books have a bigger vocabulary? Oh, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Wow, jinx. <laughs> did you guys know that friendly children have more friends? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That's true, I knew that. Did you guys know that winter babies are better at music? Everyone knows that. Oh, yeah? yeah it's pretty obvious. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. obvious. Oh, hey, guys, did you know that most people think they're using the right car seat for their kid, but they're not? Huh, I didn't know that. I'm pretty sure I knew that. I'm pretty sure you didn't. Parents who really know it all know for sure that their child is in the right car seat at the right age and size. Visit safercar.gov slash the right seat to make sure your child is protected. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Boy, you know what really gets me going? 91.7 FM, The Clutch. I love The Clutch. They play the best popular music for me during my lunchtime. Oh, it's great. Indie, alternative rock, and top 40. All kinds of stuff. And I love popular music during my lunchtime. Plus, they have all my favorite DJs. DJ Friendly, DJ T. Man, those are my favorite DJs to listen to during my lunchtime. You really want your lunch, don't you? I love my lunch, especially when I listen to... Duh! Clutch, 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 Ah! My heart. One too many sandwiches. You both get to answer. Um, you both get... You have to ding. Let's tag Okay, team welcome off. back just... to Know Your Camera, where Frank has kind of already won because he has 45 points, and Rick sadly only has 30, and this last question is worth 10 points. But that's okay. We play everyone wins. Also, everyone we have a prize wins. for the winner, and you'll find out what it is. 
after this question. So okay. here's the problem right. question coming at you right now. You have to ding in. It's pretty easy, but here we go. So Becca and Britt are working on a project. They are shooting in the studio using an MX. All the studio lights are on, and the camera's iris is open all the way, but the shot is still way too dark. What is one possible solution you could give them after criticizing their technique for a significant amount of time? <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay. okay. Let him answer. Well, Becca, um, I think you guys should probably turn the studio lights on because that might be why um, it's it dark in here. It says the studio lights are on. Oh, does it? Yep. You might want to take your ND filters off too. Well, I don't know if I should count that because. Answer. Yeah, you gave the wrong answer, bud. Do you have a guess? Wow. I do. It's it's going to be a compilation of ND filter shutter speed. Uh, your gain is in the negatives, which you can do. It's just you have to go in the settings for that. Um, what else do you want? That's fine. Congratulations, you've proved you're the most arrogant Woo! person at CU TV. Yeah. Arrogance gets wait, you everywhere. Wait, that's that's good. That means I'm the nice guy again. I think I'm it nice. Does. Rick that means I'm nice. <laughs> he wins. <laughs> Clear victory. Clear there goes victory. my water. We're going to go on and on with this problem thing and be like, Becca and Britt continue to work on the project. Being incompetent as they are, they come across more obstacles, but we didn't have time for that. Okay. So the final score was Frank yeah. wins at 55 and Rick trails at 30. Frank, your prize is you get to tech direct the next show, which is Entertainment Lately. Yay! <laughs> There's no Entertainment Lately, guys. There's two. Ha <laughs> 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 ha! So. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. Clearly he's nice and he's arrogant. So keep watching the 48-hour broadcast, everybody. Things you'll never, is that, that's recorded still, right? They still got the recording Entertainment going? Lately should be on next. All right, let's move some cameras. See you later. I can